my critical Christian crowd. If Einstein created relativity and then special relativity in the early, what, 20th century, in the 1900s, whenever it was, they had Newton's definition of gravity, which is an invisible force before that. Are we to believe that relativity, special relativity, and all that out there existed before Einstein discovered it? He didn't discover anything. He created it on a blackboard, on a chalkboard. It is a mathematical equation. And once again, saints, say it with me, math describes, science explains. So it, it's just nonsense. It's just absolute nonsense. And the other thing I wanted to ponder as well, too, is this whole idea of there's so many UFA, UFO reports right now. It's ridiculous. And if it's not asteroids destroying the Earth, it's UFO sightings. And they're, they're preparing the noggins of the, of the blatantly stupid so that when they drop this huge asteroid attack on the realm, uh, everyone will say, oh, we knew it was coming. Or if the aliens invade, they'll, well, we knew that they'd seen them and the government knew. But here's my point, because once they do that, uh, and the grand alien comes and is baptized by the Pope, <laughs> uh, they are going to convince you uh, that aliens are an advanced civilization. Well, guess what? If you are forced into the heliocentric, big bang, theory of evolution, Darwinism driven model of reality, which you are, unless you're a biblical cosmologist and a, and a truster, a believer in Jesus Christ, then you are the other one. If you believe in any of that nonsense, the spin and ball or the, the Darwin's survival of the fittest, any of that stuff, if you believe in any of that stuff, right? then you will believe in the aliens coming and the advanced civilizations that they came from. But here's my, here's my Christian pondering that led me to this. If the Big Bang happened and everything came out of nothing and we evolved, why would there be another civilization that would evolve at a faster clip? By their very definition of evolution, that things take time and, and, and mutations and, and you have to evolve and you came from the goo and then you came into became a fish and then the fish crawled out of the ocean and walked up and became a, a magic crazy squirrel and then the squirrel became a monkey and then the tail of the monkey fell off and the monkey became a man. If you believe in all that stuff that all started at one point in time, and that that's the natural progression of evolution, then there can't be any other advanced civilizations. There can't be. By your own definition of how nature evolves man. Well, it's a big bang, it goes everywhere. And if, if the big bang went everywhere and earth went there and another earth went there, what do they have a different set of law of physics? And since there's no God in evolution, to give them a stronger intelligent design, which science b doesn't believe in intelligent design, they believe in the natural progressions of life, then how could there possibly be an advanced civilization? There can't be. There's, if you believe in evolution and other civilizations out in the great cosmos of the grand, ever-expanding, never-ending, 10 to the negative 17 tor vacuum of nothingness, if you believe in that, then you also have to believe that the very best they could offer is another civilization just like us somewhere else. And by their own definitions, the closest star is billions and billions of light years away. It's all nonsense, folks. It's nonsense. And the quicker you come to that realization, the better. Um, I want to give you a little Bible stuff here too. We, I did a, I did a Bible study and I'm not kidding about that 10 hours yesterday. I, I had probably the best fellowship I've had with a brother and sister in Christ that I've had in a long, long, long time. Might even been the best one. You never know. Anyway, but uh, 1 Corinthians 5, the very last verse in that says, um, but them that are, w are them that are without God judgeth. Uh, 
therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Uh, and that's one of these judgment verses, right? You know, the old bony finger that comes out, judge not, ye shall not be judged. Well, when I read that, that scripture passage right there and it says, but them that are without God judgeth. So for your consideration, right? For your consideration, the person that comes to you and says, well, I judge not, ye shall not be judged. Perhaps they are without God and they don't know what else to do other than to cherry pick something that they think works. So here's what you get when you get good fellowship. You get, you get understanding, knowledge to understanding, understanding to wisdom, and it works out. And Corinthians 6 and uh, 2, it just continues on. And uh, one of my favorite, for, for those people, though, that those Christians, Christians that want to use the judge not and you shall not be judged, just jump down to uh, 1 Corinthians 6, down to the um, second verse, and it says, uh, do, ye, or, yeah, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And that if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we will be, we will judge or we shall judge angels and how, how much more things that pertain to this life. So here's another understanding that folks have got to get. Good, evil, right, wrong, spiritual battle between the two that's constantly going on, right? And people pretend Christians are not Christians. People who have a, a, a form of godliness but don't know God, according to this scripture in 1 Corinthians 5 and 6, pretty well defined right there. You know, If people are using that judge not and you shall not be judged passage, uh, I, would, I would contend for the faith and say they're not of God. The Bible says so. And if the Bible says so, that's good enough for me. I ran a little long, but uh, thanks for your comments. Thanks for the interest. Uh, it's been fun, and it's going to continue to be fun, so Flat Earth February shall continue. <laughs> I got to go. I'm going to be late for church, too. God bless y'all. Alexi, tell me something interesting. Okay. The Earth is flat. News. Get your news here. Alex. What's the news news? It doesn't matter. It's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh.